beauty and lifestyle blogger if you're new to this channel welcome thank you so much for clicking on this video if you're an old subscriber thank you so much for coming back i really do appreciate your support as you can tell from the title where do when why am i clapping why am i clapping <laughs> i don't know I don't know. Anyway, as you can tell from the title, we're doing a foundation review. I've seen a few bits of this, you know, splatter, splatter all over YouTube. And I was like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to not join the movement. I, I am not going to not do it. Shake it. So I decided to purchase it and it was very affordable. It was like six pounds. So why not? Why not try it? And it's something that I always wanted to try. If you get my draft so i was like yeah this sounds like something i should try and also experience that with you today we're talking about the ordinary serum foundation so that is this one here i'm just gonna read what it says in the label while i unbox it for you this is a serum textured natural coverage foundation that softens undesirable hues and visibly reduces imperfection. Direction, shake before use. Dispense a small amount onto the palm or the back of your hand. Smooth on and blend throughout the face. So that's this foundation here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a primer on one side of my face and my other face with no primer so just to see how it is and to see the level of coverage i get using this product and for my primer i'm gonna use my um mary Kay primer which is what i'm gonna use okay so as this is a foundation review i'm gonna come a little bit closer so you can see my skin as you can see this is the face with the primer on and this part of my face does not have a primer so like they said you should shake it all right so after shaking it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pump two pumps at the back of my hand so this is the texture as you can see it's quite runny and yeah so as it's a serum so it's meant to be running so that's the texture and that is two pumps so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna apply that to one side of my face using a beauty blender i feel like the, this beauty blender will soak it because i feel like this beauty blender is soaking it so i'm gonna use my um brush Wow. So that's two pump and that is how my face is looking like. And what can I say? I love how it looks on my skin. Like it's definitely the right shade. I got definitely the right shade. It's got a neutral undertone, so that is quite good. literally is skin like skin like i can't believe this i can't believe that sorry if i'm looking over there because that's where my monitor is i can't believe how flawless this look on my skin like are you kidding me like this looks so good on my skin like if literally is my skin like I really love this I wasn't sure that I got the right shade but you don't even notice the dip well okay you can see a little bit of difference but this is skin with no makeup skin with serum foundation and and that's just two pumps and that means it is beautiful it is absolutely beautiful so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build it a little bit I'm just gonna add one more pump to this face so that that means one side had three pump okay so that's what i'm gonna do just watch And 
as you can see I am gently tapping it in can you see the difference so that is side with three pumps and this doesn't have any foundation on it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add three pumps to this side as well so it's one two three oh my god it's so runny <laughs> so I'm gonna come a bit closer now blending it in one thing that I can say about this foundation let me put my brush down one thing I can say about this foundation is it is very lightweight as they've said like I don't feel like I've got a foundation on my skin and um, I love how it blends and it sinks into my skin very well when I did check ASOS they did have two types of this foundation there was the full coverage one and there was the serum foundation so this is the serum foundation so that i'm being clear so you don't get the wrong one because they look exactly alike and if you're not reading the tiny print under the description of the um of the foundation you might get the wrong one so that's why i'm telling you this i love how lightweight it is i love how it sinks into my skin very well and this is something that I can wear on a daily basis if I don't feel like having makeup on. And yeah, and the good thing is it is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Yes, I don't have any blemishes or any, you know, hard blemishes on my skin. So it makes my skin looks flawless. But for people who've got like, you know, dark spots and, you know, acne or blemish on their skin, it... it it will still show those parts of your skin so what you can do in those situation is conceal first before using the serum foundation so you get a tip that's my tip for you conceal first but for my girls with like you know not a lot of blemishes like smooth skin and everything like that just go in with this and i don't see a difference i really don't see a difference with the primer or no primer i feel like without the primer i'm getting a little bit of glow or is it me with the primer it looks a little bit more matte but without the primer is giving me dewy skin or maybe that's just me i'm not sure let me know in the comment section what you think so i'm just saying what i'm saying all right let's talk about the packaging i love the packaging of the foundation and um, the handwriting is so easy to read even though it is on kind of like you know brown because of the foundation in there of course but i love the black uh, and the font everything is so easy to read it is formulated very very well for six pounds this is a good one and i know that, that um the ordinary um products are quite good so trying their foundation was a no-brainer for me i i had to hop on it because i know i need it i can't be having full face every day um, especially for you guys so a little bit of this sometimes will reduce how much makeup i'm putting on on a daily basis all right so i love the packaging i love that i can open this that's quite good i love how it looks after it pumps you can see it leaves those residue there so mm, just you know just take it off you can clean it with you can clean it with tissue paper wipes whatever whatever you want to use to clean it if you're a clean freak i'm not a clean freak well sometimes i am actually i might actually clean this <laughs> but anyway yeah i do love the packaging it is how many mils is it again is it 30 mils i think it's yeah so it is 30 mils so which is one fluid ounces and that's not too bad and one thing that i did do although i picked this shade then i went on find nation which is which is where i wanted to check if 
the shade I picked was the right shade and it was exactly the same shade I picked so I think I'm quite good with what works for me in terms of my foundation I, I think I'm getting there so yeah if you don't know what which one to get go to find nation and then that will help you match you to the right foundation and that's what that did for me and I ended up getting this one so which was great anyway that's pretty much it I'm gonna put my full face like glam on and then we'll talk about the price and my overall thought okay Okay, so I'm back and this is my finished look and it's looking really, really yummy. Like, I love how flawless this is. Okay, let me not ramble on. The first thing is the price. We've said the price was £6.50. I will link it in the description box below so you can go check it out. Okay, alright. So, what is giving me, I've finished my full glam face and it's given me proper coverage like proper coverage and i used three in total i used six pumps but yeah so that's it one thing that i do love about the foundation is how simple and easy it is to put on it doesn't feel like i've got foundation on at all even though my face is full glam uh, it doesn't feel like i've got heavy foundation on like i'm not itching to take it off like you know what those foundation that you just put on and you're like oh can't wait to take this off man but this one i'm not itching to take it off so we'll do the transferable test that's what we're gonna do so i'm just gonna come here and just do that and on the primer side that is how much it transferred so not a lot but um, we're gonna try on the other side so you can see like it's there's a little bit there but not a lot so let's do this one so this is how much it is it is without the primer with primer without the primer it's sort of giving me the same thing isn't it it's sort of giving me the same thing let me know in the comment section what you think so that is it for this video watch to this point and you haven't subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button now join the community and let's get me to 10k i'm speaking this into existence so but anyway i digress thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time Bye bye